Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to set up dynamic keyword insertion. What this means is that when a user or visitor search for a keyword like web hosting, he clicks on your ad and he lands on your landing page, you want that keyword to show up somewhere on the website or on your landing page so the keyword is web hosting and this is my landing page this is my landing page code and to insert the dynamic keyword you need this piece of code right here I'll include that in the post this is a PHP code and you must use a PHP uh, file so you have to save your page as a PHP file and the PHP file can actually just include HTML codes and then you just have this little piece of PHP code which echoes uh, the keyword wherever you put this code at so uh, let's give this a shot real quick So this is my uh, FTP, I'm going to upload this, okay, this is how you, you uh, use the destination URL so let's try this copy so you would put this into your uh, ad campaigns this is Bing 7search and my PPV lead impact uh, and a Bing and AdWords they use the same uh, keyword dynamic uh, insertion code so if I was do this this is my landing page URL right here and you need to add this to the end of your URL this right here tells uh, my PHP code so you get the keyword parameter so this this is the parameter it will display whatever this keyword is so when the the visitor clicks on the ad so this was Bing uh, he would he searches for web hosting and he clicks on the ad this keyword is web hosting this keyword would be web hosting so now we go to this URL you see this right here this is web hosting that's the keyword we just insert it uh, into the page so if we uh, this is the URL that I've just used right here so we if we type something else say uh, video games and then we type this into the browser now we'll say video games so the user the visitor was searching for video games and he clicks on your ad your landing page right here we show video games So Bing uses uh, this style keyword. So you put this at the end of your URL after this parameter, and then Seven Search it. Seven Search uses this. So you would. So you would. So you would do this. 
so let's try this so this is my parameter keyword and this could be anything like web hosting or uh, video games whatever the visitor searches the seven search system will replace this with the user's keyword so if I put this into the uh, my browser and search yeah, it displays nothing until you put something so I just went to the browser and did this now if I was to do uh, the user search for uh, Apple iPhone it would just be like that or so you can type in it could be anything really so let's so if this was 7 search there it is that's the keyword and then now we go to uh, lead impact lead impact will automatically put this at the end of your URL so if this was my this is my URL to the landing page the lead impact system will automatically put this uh, URL code or parameter automatically to the end of the URL so you don't need to put this you just gotta check this box and it will automatically put this code in for you so it works the same way this could be anything that the visitor or the user searches for oh this is the keyword that you put into the system and it triggers the ad so if we copy this it will just be keyword because right now the parameter keyword equals keyword so this will display whatever this is and let me go over a little bit of uh, different parameters uh, they can look different but all these are the exact same thing so this is the basic one and then this means the same thing so the index.php question mark keyword equal is the same thing as test folder slash question mark keyword equals because this automatically goes to the index PHP already so these two mean the same thing and uh, this one is a little bit different but it is also the same thing this one has an extra parameter TID equals this doesn't matter it could be anything uh, if your URL uses it uh, it doesn't matter That's the parameter so the question mark keyword equals will need to be the and sign the and sign is the number seven above the number seven on your keyboard so instead of using a question mark the only difference is you have to put a an, the end symbol so if this was say web hosting if I put this into my browser uh, it would say web hosting because this PHP code only grabs the keyword parameter which is this it doesn't care about this because it's not keyword parameter this is something else if I was to do the PHP code and grab this this right here then it will grab whatever this is but we only want this keyword and you can name this anything you want keyword or uh, you can say uh, key W or key you can call it whatever you want but it, to keep it simple just leave it as the keyword parameter and then the last one is also the same thing but looks a little bit different this has three parameters we have the first one 
TID, the second one, and keyword, and the third one, TID2. Again, you can type in, or oh, the, the visitor goes to, say, uh, Wikipedia uh, for games, whatever. This, the code will still only search for parameter uh, the keyword parameter so it doesn't matter what these other parameter are so we search for this Wikipedia game so it doesn't matter so your URL can look something like this and uh, it doesn't matter just make sure you have a keyword parameter either like this or like this so if you don't use any other parameters you need to put this uh, with the, the end of the URL and if you found that your URL contains other parameters already then you need to input uh, add the keyword parameter by using the end symbol and then keyword equals So again, you just uh, use these just like that and make sure you also put in the Bing uh, keyword dynamic keyword text which replaces this with the visitor or the user's search terms that triggered your ad. So each ad network has a different style of dynamic text insertion. Uh, Seven Search uses it. Uses this style. Bing and AdWord uses this, so you just add it right after your uh, per keyword parameter. So same thing. You just add it right after your keyword parameter. Lead Impact. It adds it for you. So make sure you grab you, the PHP code. So you get keyword. It'll get this keyword and whatever this is that triggered your ad. And uh, that's pretty much it for that. And you can put this code anywhere you want. So if I was to cut, uh, copy this, well, let's copy the whole thing. I can put it at the top of the page or I can put this code inside or a text HTML code it could be inside an HTML code inside your text so I can put it right here so enter your email to learn how to and then this insert whatever the user search so let's try this so I'm, I, I'm inserting it at the very top of the page and also uh, where my uh, so enter your email to learn how to and uh, then the dynamic insertion will happen right here and also at the top so let's try this I'm gonna save this file upload this so this was uh, Google AdWords and the user searches for like uh, make money online right so it will be like this Google will replace this keyword and this is the what the user or the visitor search for that triggers your ad and he clicks on it it will trigger this So now the dynamic keyword insertion is right here and enter your email to learn how to make money online. So there you have it. And that's pretty much how you use the dynamic keyword insertion into your web page. Um, thanks for watching and if you have any other questions please leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.